Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Adventure Webinar. Today we have three really cool panelists discussing their um, hotels, destinations, and excursions today. And we're going to be starting with um, Julie from Explore Safari, who's going to talk to us about a really cool proposal. Welcome, Julie. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, and good afternoon, everybody. So I represent um, a number of safari lodges and hotels in the UK. And today we're going to have a look at um, a camp based on Shamwari Private Game Reserve in the Eastern Cape in South Africa. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And can you all see my screen? Anse, can you see it? No, oh, yeah. yeah. It worked when we did the test. It always yeah. does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Yeah. Oh, Joanna's saying she can't wait for this. She was at Shamwari in 2005. Oh, we got lots of updates. <laughs> Let me just see if I can. Hello, Boy. Canada, Spain. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining today. Can we see the screen now? No. Have you got to open um, no, behind have. the scene? And then you've got to press share and select which page you want, but nothing, mm -hmm. not it's not working. <sighs> Why did it work when we did the test and not now? That's how it always goes. It's fine. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Um, perfect. Yeah, we can see it now. Can you see it now? Yes. No, just and if I put it into full screen, can you see it now? Yes. And now if you just put it in presentation mode. Exactly. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> So welcome, everybody. Um, as I say, today we're going to be having a look at one of the properties that we represent in South Africa. It's a private game reserve located in the Eastern Cape. The great thing about the Eastern Cape um, is it is a non-malaria area. So it's not to say that it doesn't have mosquitoes, it does, but they are not the malaria bearing kind, which makes it great um, for both families and your older travelers who always seem to come with a hand luggage full of uh, medication once you hit a certain age. But today we're going to look at the adventure side of the Shamwari Reserve. Um, so Shamwari has numerous lodges um, on the reserve. It's a 75,000 hectare um, size reserve, but we are going to have a look today at the adventure aspect in Explorer Camp. And yes, the picture that you can see of the rhino, we have a large rhino population on the property. And that horn is real. It is not photoshopped. And we are very fortunate that on Shamwari, we um, have an extremely effective anti-poaching unit. And so our rhino remain intact. Um, in terms of accessing the um, reserve, you can fly into the nearest town, which is a town known as Kheba, which was formerly known as Port Elizabeth. So there's air access from both Cape Town and Johannesburg International Airport. Alternatively, your clients can drive along the garden route from Cape Town heading towards Port Elizabeth, and then it's an hour's drive onwards from Port Elizabeth or Kikheba um, to the entrance gate of the reserve. When your clients arrive at the reserve, they're met at the Welcome Lounge, which is this particular area here. They would, if they've traveled by self-drive means, they would park their car here, 
and the rangers will then meet them and transfer them um, in the open safari vehicle to the explorer camp. An explorer camp is number 10 on our map here and it is located sort of in a central region. It's an amazing reserve because of the variety of fauna and flora found in the region. So South Africa has eight different bionomes containing various different plants, trees, grasses, etc. And Shamwari is lucky enough to have five of those eight bionomes located in various points around the reserve. So your um, game viewing experience is really, really good because we are able to host numerous different types of antelopes, mammals, bird life, and obviously your big five. So Explorer Camp is a very small, very intimate camp. It contains um, three tents, a maximum of six guests. And unlike your normal safari where you go out on your vehicle every day, accompanied by a ranger, and you have two game drives, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, Explorer Camp is slightly different. So because it is a, a very small, very intimate camp, and it's all about walking and getting up close to nature. And the reserve itself does, as I say, have the big five. So you have the opportunity to meet or encounter the big five on your walks. The camp is um, set on a, a small um, outcrop of rocks. So you do have quite a, a nice view over um, various plain areas. But you can see from the interior photos here of the lounge, it's very small, very intimate. We have a maximum of six guests accompanied by two rangers um, staying at the property. The experience is a minimum two night experience. And for those that are feeling a little adventurous, it can be extended to three nights if they do the Friday departure. So your um, lounge here area here, um, it is an all-inclusive experience. So once you're on the reserve, it includes your meals, your game viewing experiences with your ranger, your drinks, etc. But you can see it's very small. It's a tented camp. Um, it's under canvas. It is a, a wooden structure, but it is under canvas. So you have that very close to nature feel. And you can see your dining area is also very small. We do prefer to do most of the dining outdoors around the campfire. But obviously there is um, inclement weather and it can get a little chilly in the evenings as we go into autumn. The camp operates from October through to the end of May every year. So it operates through spring, summer and um, into autumn. Um, the last departures being in May. We do have a small pool. It's a tiny little pool, which has literally been built in this little granite outcrop. Um, it does have a no diving policy. I'm not sure why anybody would look at that little pool and think that it was worth taking a chance and diving in it, but it does have obviously a no diving policy. That water is really, really welcome when you've been out on safari for at least four hours, because you're looking at walking between three and four hours every day but I'll run through the daily program with you shortly. And you can see, very small, very intimate. The camp is discreetly fenced. There is a small electric trip wire, which is um, powered by solar power. And you are escorted to your tents in the evening and a small trip wire is put up around the platform that your tent is located on. But it's basically for intents and purposes classified as an unfenced camp. You're in the middle of the bush, um, you're surrounded by the natural environment, and you will get antelope, your baboons, you may get um, predators coming through as well. So this is the Explorer Camp deck, and this is kind of where everything happens once you're in camp. The fire is kept going permanently, you'll sit around the fire in the mornings with your brunch, um, you can sit around the fire in the evenings after dinner, and you can see in the most important part of the deck is that little bar facility over there. But it really is. It's, it's a very special, very intimate. It's a very retro safari experience. So I'm going to show my age now and say when I first went on safari with my parents as a child, um, it, a lot of the facilities were very basic. We didn't have these luxury five-star lodges. 
And this was the kind of environment that I experienced safariing as a child. And you can see the all important campfire. And that's really the romance of this camp. You sit around the campfire in the evenings and swap stories of the day and talk to your rangers about their experiences, etc. These are your tents and they are unlike the rest of Shamwari, which is the ultimate in luxury and elegance. These are very basic. They have all the amenities that you need, um, but they don't have all the finishing touches that the other lodges have, for example. So your tent is located on a platform. And as I say, there is a tripwire which is put into place once you've been escorted to your tent in the evening by your ranger. You can sit out on the deck and just listen to the sights and sounds of the bush. That gives you an idea of the interior of the tent. It can be made up as either a twin configuration or the beds can be put together to create a king size. We do have running water and flushing toilets. So attached to your tent, you have this bathroom area. It does have a flushing toilet and we do have running water. So you have your hand basin and your shower facility here. Very out of Africa if you've seen the movie. So these are our game drive vehicles. You will be taken on your game drive vehicle um, out into the bushveld, accompanied by two rangers. And yes, both of those rangers are armed and fully proficient in firearm safety. Um, they will have done extensive training um, as walking trail guides, which is a more intensive program than the guides that do your normal ranger game viewing um, activities from your vehicles. They will take you out into the bush and you then spend three to four hours um, each day out on safari. And this gives you an idea of just how close um, you get up to the animals. It is important to remember that we have a minimum age um, for the walking safaris, which is 16. Our maximum age is 65. We will take anybody over 65, provided they have a doctor certificate, which confirms that they are fit and healthy to walk up to four and a half hours each day. Bearing in mind that in the summer months, it can be very intense heat, even though they set out very early in the morning. The facilities are very limited and obviously by nature of the program, we cannot accommodate pregnant women on the walking safaris. But if you've got a client who really wants to get up close and personal with nature, this is the ultimate experience. We find that a lot of our clients will spend two nights at Explorer Camp and then go on to the luxury um, lodges for an additional night or two. But the, obviously the experience, the photographic opportunities on this particular experience really are magnificent. It kind of, the pictures kind of speak for themselves. I don't need to do too much talking, I don't think, in terms of, of how amazing this experience is. And I think if you've been on safari and seen the animals from the, the vehicles, you'll appreciate the magnificence of this actual experience. Then we also do have obviously conservation projects on the reserve, um, which um, clients can arrange to visit. We have a wildlife rehab center where there's no human contact other than the occasional contact for feeding purposes, um, where animals who have been either orphaned or wounded are rehabilitated and released into the wild. We have the Volpro project where we are providing a home for an aviary of the Cape vulture, where breeding pairs are being used to repopulate the Cape vulture species throughout Southern Africa. And then we're also home to the Born Free Big Cat Sanctuaries. Now the Big Cat Sanctuaries are run by Born Free who rescue lions that have been kept in captivity, either as personal pets um, in zoo, uh, personal zoos or um, for entertainment purposes. Um, or they've come from war-torn countries, for example, like uh, the Ukraine, um, from the Middle East, etc. And some of these cats have a really, really sad backstory. So there is no human contact, although many of them have had human contact through their life. And they try to allow them to live um, as, as natural a life as possible. 
So in talking about the actual safari experience, it's a to say two night experience departs either on a Tuesday or a Friday. If you do the Friday experience, you can extend it into a three night experience. Um, and your early morning start, you head out with your rangers, you spend uh, three to four hours out in the bush tracking whatever is in the area, um, getting up close, they will teach you about uh, the trees, the different plants, the different grasses, as well as experiencing um, your animal um, and wildlife. And then you come back to the camp and you have a nice, healthy party brunch before you can spend the rest of the afternoon um, just chilling, either in your tent, uh, having a swim, chatting to the rangers about their experiences. Then you have sundowners on the deck, followed by dinner. And it's generally an early sleep time because you're going to be up early the following morning. And you'll do that for two days in a row. And then on your day of departure, um, you can generally will have a bush breakfast. So they'll take you out into the bush and you can um, have a bush breakfast before heading back to camp and um, setting off um, back to your onward destination. So I saw lots of hearts there, so I'm guessing there's um, a lot of interest and uh, everybody's quite keen uh, to go on walking safaris. But thank you, that's, uh, that's my presentation. Thank you so much, Julie. That was incredible. The whole time I was just thinking, this is top of my bucket list. So <laughs> thank you, that was amazing. Um, and for all the participants, um, remember to play, pay really close attention because at the end we're going to have our quiz. Um, one question for each of our presenters today. And the person to reply the fastest is going to get 10 entries to our spin wheel. So pay very close attention. And now we have Andrea who's going to talk about to us about um, Papillon helicopters. Thank you, Andrea. It's time to shine. Um, um, can you hear me now? Yeah. Cool. Um, so, yeah, my name's Andrea, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Grand Canyon Group, which is not just about the helicopters, but it's also um, about um, airplanes as well. And we also do ground tours as well over the Grand Canyon. And the other thing to say as well is it's not just about the Grand Canyon. We also do some other tours which um, your clients might be interested in. So the brands that we have are Papillon, um, which you may have heard of. Sorry, that's my dog. The Grand Canyon Scenic Airlines. And we've also got Book Wild um, Hummer Tours. Um, we have different gateways as well. Um, most of the people from Europe come in through Las Vegas, but you've got more and more people now self-driving. And you can now um, do some of our tours direct from the Grand Canyon National Park or through Page Lake Powell, or from Phoenix, Scottsdale as well. Um, we've got 45 helicopters, 18 airplanes, and seven Hummers, and that makes us um, the largest sightseeing company in the world. We also do narration in lots of different languages, and all the languages are below on those flags, and I couldn't possibly tell you what all those different flags are, but I know we do it a lot of different languages um, for the narration. So one of the most important factors when you're doing um, a tour is to make sure that you can see. And we've got these EcoStar helicopters um, and they, they're the most advanced helicopters that you can get at the moment. And um, they've got these huge, large um, um, screens so that you get to see um, as much as possible. And um, we also... Um, give, give um, the customers these Bose noise cancelling headphones so that you can hear the music. And that's another nice feature when you do these tours um, is that they play the music as you're, you know, going over the Grand Canyon and it really enhances the experiences. Um, and um, yeah, and we have like a slightly raised platform for this people sitting behind so that everybody just gets an amazing view. 
Um, we also um, have similar features in um, our aircraft as well, because not everybody has the confidence to go in a helicopter. Um, so we also provide, you know, an option to still see um, this amazing wonder um, by an aircraft as well. So they also have the headphones and um, the larger windows so that the customers get, um, you know, a good view of the canyon. So I just wanted to show you um, the map because the Grand Canyon is huge and it sort of gives you an idea of the different parts of the canyon that you can go to and, um, you know, where your customers could access some of the tours that we do. So, like I said, most people come into Las Vegas and the other key factor to consider is that once they get to Las Vegas, a lot of customers is on their bucket list. So they're probably going to get inundated with, you know, um, do, doing a tour to the Grand Canyon. So if you can pre-sell it, you're going to earn the revenue for, um, you know, somebody who would probably take that trip anyway so it's always worth just considering you know if you've done any bookings to las vegas just checking with them and saying have they considered and would they you know like to do it all and that you are able to help them so um we have tours that go straight from mclaren um atlantic terminal um we also have um a terminal at boulder city it's about a 40 40 minute drive from las vegas but it just gives um, a cheaper price point. Um, we take them by coach um, to Boulder City, uh, although I've, I've just found out that we're all for people who are self-driving, they could drive there themselves and get the, you know even cheaper. And that will be coming out soon, some new rates for that. Um, and for those tours um, from McLaren, we'll go to the Grand Canyon West Rim. Um, the tours from Boulder um, are also airplane tours as well. So you can see you've got a helicopter and air airplane. Um, and from Boulder, you can get both to the Grand Canyon South Rim, which is the national park. And we also do a trip over to Page Lake Powell as well. Um, and um, if people do self-drive, you can go um, to the Grand Canyon West. Um, the Grand Canyon North, you can only do from Boulder. And um, the South Rim, again, if somebody drives to the South Rim, they can do um, helicopter or Hummer tours there or um, over um, Lake Powell as well. And um, from Page, um, you can do separate tours from, from that um, gateway as well. So there's lots of different gateways and lots of different experiences that you're going to get from each of um, the different um, areas of the Grand Canyon. So the first thing I'll, I'll, I'll talk you through is um, the strip flight. So this is sort of our leading experience. And everybody says when in Vegas, you do all these different things. And one, one of the most popular tours we do is a strip flight in the evening that goes over um, the, um, the, the Las Vegas Strip. Um, gold medal for those of you in the UK, I currently got an offer um, where you can do this strip flight for only £79. So I think that finishes at the end of this month. Um, so if you, again, if you've got customers, it might be worth considering. But you can just do a straight strip flight, um, but also we pair it with the Neon um, Knights Museum. You can do a fly and dine experience. We've actually, with the Grand Prix in Vegas um, in November, we've actually got permission to fly over the circuit. So you can either do that before the actual Grand Prix starts, or if anybody can't get tickets and wants to watch it from the air, you can actually do um, a, a helicopter over the circuit while they're actually taking place. And we've got that in the practice sessions as well. So that's just um, the night flights that we do. And like I say, it's one of the most popular. Um, this is our Las Vegas um, VIP terminal. And like I said, it's just this is just the helicopters that will go from this terminal. Boulder City in the top right hand corner is where we get we have the aircraft and the um, helicopters. And that's the transportation bus that um, you um, you will get from selected hotels um, on the strip will pick you up. 
And then anybody who's looking um, to go to the West Rim, the West Rim is the closest to the canyon. Um, and we will do tours depending on budget. So if somebody's got a really limited budget, um, we can just do an airplane tour over um, the Grand Canyon. Um, the Golden Eagle tour, they can just go over and, and just see the Grand Canyon um, from, Bold they go from Boulder City and do it by air. And equally, you can just do an air tour by helicopter as well. But if you want to get more immersed into, um, you know, what there is um, at the Grand Canyon, you could do the Skywalk, um, as you can see from the top picture, um, or you can land at the base of the canyon. And this is an amazing tour. You can either do it from Las Vegas or um, at our McLaren Terminal, or you can do it from Boulder. It's the King of Canyons from um, Las Vegas, and it, it sells for about £576. Um, or if you do the Grand um, grand Celebration, which essentially is the same tour, but from um, Boulder, it's about £436, um, just to give you an idea. Or you can also combine that with some rafting as well. So there's lots of different excursions that we offer um, um, for um, the West Rim. And then um, that just shows where the West Rim is. And then moving on to the Grand Canyon South Rim, the South Rim is where you see all the amazing photographs um, um, that, you know, the photographers have taken. It's the widest and the um, sort of deepest part of the canyon. We um, can do tours from um, Boulder City or you've got self-drive. People can go straight to the National Park and do um, either a helicopter or a Hummer tour from here as well. Um, but these are, you know, really popular tours. And again, if somebody's done the, the West Rim, um, you could always suggest, oh, you know, if they want to see the South Rim for, you know, a totally different experience to perhaps what they've um, had before. Um, the tours we do here are the Grand Canyon Deluxe, and you can either choose to do that as a ground tour with our Hummer, um, or with um, a, a heli you can do a helicopter tour over the Grand Canyon. Then um, for maybe stag do's or families who want a little bit more of an adventure, um, you could go to our um, the North Rim and um, do explore our Barten Ranch. Um, and it's quite, you can't actually get to it by, um, you know, self-drive, but here we do like ATVs and we do a cowboy lunch um, or there's, there's horseback riding, I think, as well. So there's lots of different um, options you can do at, from the North Rim. Then um, a new tour that we do sort of April through to October is um, Bryce Canyon and Zion National Park. Um, you, you take an aerial flight from um, Boulder City and you go to Bryce Canyon um, and then on the way back you come back by coach and you do various stops over Bryce Canyon and then you do um, some sightseeing stops in Zion National Park. You can also choose to get a mountain bike as well if, if you so wish. So again this is another option for your customers um, and for you again to earn some additional um, revenue. Um, for anybody going into that that area and um, and then one of the most interesting um, tours that we do which is um, very different um, is Antelope Canyon and um, you also we also do a tour to Tower Butte which is um, um, the top top image which um, is just um, an amazing sort of viewing platform and we're the only tour company who are able to get on top of that platform um, and here you have the flight um, from Boulder and from Page to have this experience as well. So you get to see Horseshoe Bend and then Tower View as well. So lots of different tours. What you will find is that you might think, oh, I'm really interested in that tour. And whoever you choose to buy through may not have it because we have so many tours. If that's the case, you can always just email us and we can ask, ask them to add that tour um, because it's quite easy for them to do. Um, another thing we do is weddings and proposals. And with Instagram and, um, you know, social media, everybody is looking, you know, for somewhere different and just exciting to do a proposal or even to have their wedding or renewal of vows even. 
and yeah what 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 better way to do it at the bottom of the grand canyon as well so we also do some valley of fire tours as well and um you can even do it just um over the strip as well so that's just again something if you're into weddings um in the uk um attraction world and do something different both um do these um weddings and um, renewal of vows so just also to um mention before i start the video the companies we work with in the uk are attraction world and do something different but you can also buy our attractions through hotel beds through ati through bonnetel and viator um and if any of you work with get your guide and um, we're also with them so I shall just show you a video which sort of encompasses most of our to go and um, social media I'm finding is so important at the moment and um, if you go to this website grandcanyongroup.com there's a full list of all the tours we do with all the, the details you can also download images and um, there's videos on there as well that you can download for your own social media purposes um, ideally yeah if you could tag us in that's even better um, but yeah um, please do um, use um, that, that website um, I also um, do regular updates on the My Hablo platform. So if not, you're not familiar, it is a really good website where we put, again, images, updates of any new tours we're doing. If anybody's doing any incentives or um, or prizes that um, we can piggyback off and um, we just let you know about them as well. Or um, you can email um, michael.wareham at papion.com um, and um, or, or myself, which is andrea.hog um, at wendham.co.uk. But do Michael as a pre as, as a, um, the first call. Um, and um, we also do 30% discount for um, your own tours as well. So I can send a link if any of you are going and want to experience it. We do a 30% discount. So hopefully that has given you an insight. And again, if I can help in any way to get, um, you know, some of the some sales for you, please let us know. Thank you so much, Andrea. That was so cool. And the scenery is just unbelievable for all of these tours it looks like you're in a movie or yeah so cool. it's so cool thank